Welcome back, guys. It would appear summertime has made an appearance. The past couple of days, it has been 80 degrees here. Now, <laughs> don't put your winter coat away just yet because it's about to get cold next week. However, today we took advantage of the warm weather. You see there, we got our potatoes all planted. These here, we got our... Uh, cucumbers and our peas and some tomato plants planted and we got more to go we're gonna that's just the first phase uh, we're gonna wait about a week or 10 days and plant some more that way don't come in all at the same time but that's not what today's video is about today's video is we're gonna take advantage of this 75 77 degrees because it's about to get cold next week so today we got the grill going you all seen many videos with this char griller grill we got the chicken on there right now. If you look way down deep in there, you may or may not see I got some hickory chips in the bottom. I only use the wood chunks. Now, I normally use cowboy wood chunks, but nobody had any. Now, I don't know if there's a run on it or they stopped making it, but I got to look around for some cowboy chunks. Today, we are having some chicken. As you see, we got chicken breasts on the grill. We're going to have some hot dogs. I don't know if we're gonna have french fries or maybe some tater tots. Tater tots. Tater tots and chicken. It's my barbecue, I can barbecue what I want. And because we barbecue the way we want, we're using Montreal steak spice. <laughs> Truth be told, it's all I had. Steak spice on chicken. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Don't let anybody tell you different. So I've been three years with this Char Grilla grill. I like it a lot because I can. Add some wood in there if I wanted to. Raise and lower the deck. Got a nice adjustable stock on it. It's also got two vents, one on each side. However, we have a slight leak going here, Char Griller. What's that all about? Over here, all in all, it's a nice grill. What are you doing, Axe? Easy. Here you go. Where's Diesel? Where's Diesel? Go get him. Go get Diesel. Diesel's like, what are you picking on me for? There's a bird on the fence back there. Sitting there. If Axel sees it, he's going to try and climb that fence. Diesel's looking at him now. Don't you bother with him, Diesel. In your mother's garden there, she'll lose her mind. Let's go check on her chicken. Give her a quick turn. There we go. It's looking good. The first sign of warm weather. Got to get that grill going. You don't gotta, but we do. And. Oh, stay there, Dees. We brought the boat home. We're gonna get it all cleaned up. I gotta take the wheel bearings out of the trailer, replace those, and get the motor tuned up, the oil changed. Come summertime, we'll be ready for the water. Y'all might even get to see me in my slingshot. <laughs> Just kidding, ain't nobody want to see that. Especially if any of my neighbors watch my YouTube channel. Ain't nobody want to see that. Please don't unsubscribe. I won't do it. Don't worry, I won't do it. Jim would divorce me anyways. So like I said earlier today on a separate video, we got our seeds planted here Let's head out front. We got the yard all raked up Planted a new Burning bush and some hostas over here What I want to ask you all know you all see this I call it a banana leaf here banana peel comes out of this tree right here. I don't like it. It makes a mess out of the yard. If y'all know what kind of tree that is, leave me a comment down below. Because I have no idea what it's called. But it is a pain in my behind. Y'all let me know. Should I just fire up the chainsaw one day she's at work and get rid of it and hope for the best? Or just leave it alone? Maybe looking for a spare room if I do that, but... 
it would be kind of funny for a reaction when she got home, wouldn't it? For about 15 seconds. All right, inside now. So we got some peppers, tomatoes all cut up. Now these are not our tomatoes. Our tomatoes from last year all got stewed. But I mentioned to you before, we like to grow our own food for good reason. Cost and it's readily available. I can walk outside, pick a cucumber, eat it, and I know where it came from. My backyard. Also, we made dill pickles. Now these are from September 9th of last year. Look inside there. There's a garlic clove there. There's dill in there. Now the dill came from our garden as well. All right, so I just popped the top on this and you can hear it, the suction let go. So it was good and sealed. Let's try it. You're not gonna get a better pickle at a grocery store. And like I said before, I know where these pickles came from. Put them on a plate with the cucumber. That's not a cucumber. That's a tomato. Put the pickles on the plate with the tomato and peppers. Chicken should be done in a minute. We're going to have tater tots with that. Not french fries. Why? Because they don't have french fries. So we're having tater tots. Told you. It's my grill. We are just about done on the chicken. Now this is not a sponsored video. But if you're all local... There's a meat store in Chatham called Schenkels. This is their hot dogs. I'll show you the size of this hot dog. And it is not full of garbage. It's called Schenkels Legacy. Oh, it's gluten-free jumbo wiener. You don't want to say that in the wrong setting. Schenkels Meats, they're in Chatham. Um, mine daily occurrence when you're trying to record out here anyway shinkles meats in chatham great deals great food great people only hot dogs we will cook all right it is time to pull a chicken it is time to remove the chicken from the barbecue sometimes Only thing left to cook is these Schenkel's hot dogs. So tell me, y'all like your buns toasted? I like mine toasted, but not quite burnt. But we'll make it work. All right, so I'm passing on the chicken. We're having the hot dogs and the tater tots. I'm not going to be rude and eat in front of you. See you in a minute. Well, not a whole lot to today's video. I thought I'd just let you know what we're up to and leave me a comment down below as to what you're up to today. Come summertime, every day is barbecue day. We very seldom do we cook in the house during the summer. So if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. We are growing fast and it's all thanks to you guys. So share our videos, ring the notification bell. Obviously, you'll get notified every time we upload a video, which is probably three, four, five times a week. Never know. See you on the next one. Later. Daily occurrence when you're trying to record out here. Anyway, Shinkles Meats in Chatham.